Oh no. Oh my gosh. It's looking like bread. Just before my last trip, I learned that Tristan from SUV RVing was going to be in the area doing rig tours, and my forerunner made the agenda. So on the way home, I stopped at a nearby campground to book a site for our meetup. This would also score me a second bonus camping trip for January. <laughs> Holler if you're naked. will do. Well, it's not exactly level. Worst case scenario is I wake up against the door. Not too bad. Is this really a spot? I don't know, but I'll take it.
Yeah. Lukewarm. This is a uh, Yerba Mansa. It's a medicinal plant. Loves a wet environment, so it is perfect for right here. It's overcooked. Oh no! <laughs> well, you served me well. All right, don't break. I might have to put this in a bowl. Let's do that. I definitely overcooked my noodles. They're like a paste. is too long. Wow, they completely dissolved. It's gonna be a mac and cheese like product. Lesson learned. 10 minutes is probably just right. Not 15 or 20. Tastes good though. Formerly known as mac and cheese. A giant crane just landed in there. Ooh, looking pretty good. Where are you? There he goes. Wow. Oh, yes, I can. Yes. Yes, we have Christmas. The barbecue is still contained. Tastes delicious. I didn't get my knife out, so I'm just gonna punch it. See what we got here. Oh gosh. There's definite 
barbecuiness in there. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. I think it might have worked. Hell yeah. Hey, look. It's an intact noodle. A noodle survived. Ooh, hop. Ooh. Yep. There it is. Mac and cheese on the top and bottom. A little bit of barbecue in the middle. Hot. <laughs> That's a win. 100% would do again. Maybe cook the noodles a little less, but other than that, crispy on the outside, panko is key. Yeah, calling it a win. It is 7.35 p.m. and I am in for the night. Uh, I would love to sit by the fire and just chill out a bit longer, but this is a working vacation, so I have some editing to do. And so I have put myself to bed and I am going to do some work. Almost 6.30. I slept in. There we go. It's pretty warm until like, I don't know, some, who knows what time. It dropped really low by my standards. It got colder probably 2 in the morning and I clicked the electric blanket on low and now it is so cozy. So this morning we are at 49% and that is running the blanket all night. I uh, had my laptop, my phone, my watch plugged in, and I ran the kettle at dinner time, so it's pretty good. I'm going to run the kettle again this morning for my coffee. Since I um, forgot my bed tray, I have my coffee station set up in the little wheel well tray on the side. We'll see how that works. And then I've been using my cooler also as a nightstand. Um, <clears throat> it's raining. <laughs> Light sprinkles. I was not expecting rain. I'm trying to think if I have anything outside that could get damaged, but I think we'll be all right. I might have a wet chair and some damp firewood. I didn't. There was no rain in the forecast. Hi. Bring my shoes in though. Oh.
gosh. Adorable. Adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, I do the same thing. <laughs> Peach is lucky day. I've seen a man coming through this way with his towel. So I suspect it's the sneaky back way to one of the tubs. So I am gonna check it out. So I hear the water. I just hope that there's um, nobody in there that could get really awkward. There's a tub right there and I don't see anyone. Oh, good love. Gotta get back to camp, put on some dry, warm clothes, sit by the fire. Whew. joined me on the side of the lake, our little fishing friend. Right there. Hello, friend. It's raining again. I don't care, I have bread.
it is raining again, so I kind of just threw everything in the back and ready to hit the road and back to reality. So, till next time.